Hi guys! Welcome, welcome, welcome and happy Friday! I am so excited that it's Friday. Yay. Um, <laughs> Me too. You sound excited. I am very excited and I think Danny you're excited too because I see that you're just wearing socks. That's right. I'm not even wearing pants. <laughs> well, from over here, I question that. But uh, <laughs> Alrighty, so today we are going to be talking um, about some tips to help you get some more restful sleep. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Are we started? Essential oils definitely can help. We like giveaways. We do like giveaways. Forget about the dishes, forget about the laundry, forget about all of that for a minute. That's the same with essential oils, you guys. You have to figure out what works for you. You're gonna see a huge difference, a huge difference. Alrighty, so today we are going to make a relaxing Pettigreen pillow spray. But first, let's go ahead and see who is watching. Let me get over to the live stream. Yay, and refresh so I can see who's on. <laughs> I love singing to people. People don't love me singing to them, but it's okay. I enjoy it. I think your voice is beautiful. It's so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So it looks like we have GP Pay Boudet. Who says Ooh, hello from, from the Philippines? <laughs> Kendra says hi, Emily. Hi, Kendra. How are you? Uh, we've got Melissa who says good morning from Nampa, Idaho. Crisp, cool morning here. Melissa, I am loving this crisp, cool weather. I get to wear my sweaters, which makes me happy. So, <laughs> really enjoying it. Amanda Thatcher says hi from Delaware. And let's see, we also have Samantha saying hello from Wisconsin. I really love Wisconsin. I'd love to go back. Keep telling my husband that we need to make another trip. <laughs> Do you have family there? No, well, unless you count the Green Bay Packers as family, which my husband does, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see, I, Ab Abinahara says, Emily, my five-year-old sings for every task she does. Oh, we should be BFFs. I love it. <laughs> um, who is tuning in on Instagram? We have Keep Calm, Get My Oils On says good morning from Vancouver, Washington. Forever Not Me says hello from Iowa. Hi OZNZ says hello from New Zealand. Uh, we have Moon Lily 13 says hello from Vermont. Greatness for Danielle says hi from Tampa, Florida. Oh. And Maddie Lynn 326 says sending love from Nico and Maddie from New Jersey. Oh. Yay. Love to Nico and Maddie, too. Right back at you. <laughs> and we're getting some questions. Is Retha doing well? Yeah, well, I think Retha's doing well. Do you, Danny, Katrina, where is Retha? I believe she is in France. Is she I, in France? She's either in France or going... To France? Or doing something fun. It's not a sick <laughs> She's definitely <laughs> she's somewhere, and time. we're sure that she's having a great time wherever she is. Yeah, she told us she was doing this, like, a couple of weeks ago so yes. whatever it is <laughs> <laughs> all righty well thank you guys all for tuning in today we've got some fun stuff planned um, so first we just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about journey journaling for essential oil enthusiasts. And journey. <laughs> and jur I like journey. I like listening to journey, so. Uh, <laughs> don't stop believing. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, if you guys want to check out this blog, it's a really awesome. Um, we To get to the blog, you can just go to About and then click on Blog. Super easy. And then you'll see this really awesome blog post that we have today, uh, Journaling for Essential Oil Enthusiasts. So um, definitely take the time to read this over. Um, it is giving me inspiration to start journaling. Um, it's Journaling is something that I have always wanted to do, but I start, I think I have probably like 50 journals that have like <laughs> the first three pages filled out and then I never go back. So it's, it's on my goals. I'm putting it on my vision board, so <laughs> it'll happen. Um, but I do love the idea of journaling when you're blending, right? So really taking the time to document your blends and um, maybe give some insight as to the inspiration that you were feeling while you were blending. I love that, that concept, and it's something that I definitely want to get better at myself. Um, I, if you go to my desk right now, I have probably maybe five to ten bottles of essential oils blends that aren't labeled. 
and that I never wrote down the recipe for, and yeah, that's not a good habit to get into. So <laughs> don't be like me. Be like our blog and journal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, something cool about my wife is she writes in her journal every night. Oh, whether it's goals. like... Yeah, she's amazing. Sometimes she'll fall asleep and you'll just see where she's fallen asleep and just kind of trailed off. Oh my god. Those are my favorite. Yeah, those are my favorite turn Oh, that's so awesome. I I really always have grand goals, but um, let's see. Kendra says, Emily, I do that all the time and also forget to label them. Amen, Kendra. We've got to get better. We need to get our stuff together. <laughs> um, Ryan, Ryan um, says, I've been thinking really hard about oil journaling. You keep thinking and make it happen. <laughs> Tammy says, Yura is licking the phone. She loves you, Emily. Oh, I love her too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry, Emily. Don't cry. Don't make keep her cry, Keep it together. Guys. Keep it together. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cassie says, I wish I could just uh, make a daily habit of journaling. I do too. And really, you just have to set that intention. Um, and I hear that actually scheduling it into your day really helps. Um, and I know if I put something on my calendar, then generally it, it happens. And if I don't, then it's questionable of whether or not it's going to happen. So um, let's see. Marilyn says, hi, Emily. I'm from Scotland and I love your oils. Oh, thanks for tuning in. We're happy to have you. What's going on on Instagram? Uh, keep calm, get my oils on is referring to how you have your unlabeled blends. She says, I do that all the time, then I can't replicate it again. I know, it's so, so frustrating. frustrating. So frustrating. <laughs> oh. And um, whew, Georgian, Georgian A... Elissi? <laughs> I'm sorry. He's saying, what is oil journaling, writing daily oils used? Mm -hmm. I mean, really, it could be whatever you want. Yeah, really, you can make it work for you. Definitely check out our blog, um, and you'll get some helpful tips and tricks there. Uh, Debbie is saying, I keep a pencil and paper with me whenever I work with oils because you'd be surprised how quick you forget how many drops you've used. I know, Debbie. I always think, oh, I'll remember that later. I have a lot of confidence in future Emily, and she <laughs> she normally pulls things off, but man, that, that memory thing is tough. <laughs> uh, all righty. Well, let's go ahead, and I think... Um, that we can have our what's in a name giveaway. All right, game. here we go. Are you ready? And I hold it up, right? Okay. Yes. I'm going to okay. hit the music, which then starts our timer. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Dacus Krato. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Dorocus? Dacus? <laughs> I think I dated a girl named Dacus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, 40 seconds, 40 folks. 40 seconds. Oh, I see some guesses coming in that are right. I'm just in a singing mood today, I guess, you guys. You I'm are. so sorry. I've never sorry. seen you so it's singing. It's Friday, and I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing something fun this weekend? I'm sure. I'm sure I am. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. <laughs> oh, we've got tons of really good guesses coming in, you guys. Great job. We've got Dacus some smarties Carata. today. Sounds like a part of your, like a blood, one of the veins in your body, <laughs> or an artery. Oh, yeah. Corota. Yeah, and time is oh. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Ready to see what it is? Yes. Dun, dun. Oh, I've no. Brains. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> it's here somewhere, Yay. guys. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had a lot of people guess this, right? So good job, guys. Super proud of you. Um, good job. Let's see. So Jesse is gonna pick a winner, and okay. you know what? He's been super fast lately. Like. He's Bye. Speedy Gonzalez. He is. Yeah. Well, not so much not today. today. Jeez, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, 
Did anybody guess wrong? I didn't see any wrong guesses. I don't guesses. think I guessed, or I saw any get wrong guesses. Let's wow. See, I think I saw one, and it was Copaiba, but that was oh. a really good effort. That was a good effort. Okay, Jesse's here. Uh, our winner is Adriana Lugosi, Lugosi from Facebook. I hope that's Ooh. right. I'm, I'm really horrible at names today. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it actually has been really amusing to hear. It's been fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like to keep it interesting, <laughs> so. <laughs> All righty, well, congratulations. Make sure to email our customer satisfaction team at cs.plantherapy.com, and we will get you your prize sent out. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Yay! Alrighty. Okay, so now we have something really fun to do. And not that we haven't been doing fun things the whole time, but I'm really excited about this one. Um, so we are going to make a DIY Pedigreen Sleep Easy Spray. Um, if you're looking for the recipe, guess what? We've got it on our blog. I know, we're so good like that. Efficient. I, I know, we're totally hired. Um, so <laughs> you'll just go to our blog and then go to our essentials video sleep easy pedigree pillow spray and we've got our video that you can watch or you can just scroll down to our beautiful recipe here sleep easy pedigree pillow spray say that 10 times fast I know that's kind of fun to say <laughs> it's a fun sleep one easy <laughs> and I am so excited to make this recipe because it sounds like it's going to be awesome so what you're going to do is mix your essential oils into Everclear, which we have in our beautiful spray bottle. Um, once mixed thoroughly, pour into water and mix. So we're going to pour the water into the spray bottle and shake it really, really good. So, so I think the Everclear is actually in that little... It's in here. Yes. Oh, I lied, you guys. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to pour the oils into this little cute little measuring cup. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh. I need to step up my measuring cup game, apparently, because I don't have anything that cute. <laughs> I just need Jerry to come decorate my house. Smells delightful. Okay, oh. so we're going oh. to add... I we were just it. saying we forgot to put a stirry thing That's there. That's okay. We'll just dump it in and shake it up a little shake bit. It. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, so first we're going to add pedigree, which I actually really like the smell of pedigree. It's beautiful. It's not quite as um, floral as neroli is, of course, but it gives you a little bit of zestiness, which is oh, so good. Okay, so we're going to add 30 drops. 30, we're hoping for 30 drops, okay guys? Okay. Moon Lily 1013 is asking, tell me why I need pedigree. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, uh, because it's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more after this. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30! Ah! Okay, got it, I think. I stopped okay. counting somewhere in there. Um, I really like pedigree for a lot of different reasons. It's re really very uplifting and it helps with stress and fatigue. So really a good choice if you need a little bit of a boost in the morning, try blending it with um, maybe some orange or anything that really gives you that little zest that you need. Um, and I also like that it's kid safe. So if you need a boost um, while you're, you know, while you have kids around, then it's a really good choice. Um, but it's also, so it's mentally uplifting, but it's also good to help calm you down before bedtime. Um, so definitely a good choice, especially if you're looking for kid safe options. Then we're blending this with other oils that help you fall asleep at night. So next we've got bergamot, which is delightful. Isn't bergamot everyone's favorite? I feel like it should be. I think so. Yeah, it's pretty popular. Popular. <laughs> 15! Oh, well, I'm doing good so far. I might be able to hit the button at the end of this. Let's hope. Fingers Nailed crossed. It. Nailed it. Okay, next we have Cedarwood Atlas, which also smells great. You guys, I might be a little bit biased because I love all of these oils. Okay, so we've got eight Cedarwood. Maybe. Maybe. We might have to come back to Cedarwood, you guys. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. I think in the in the I'll warm it up a little DIY we that was our thick oil. Yeah, we've got vetiver too, so we might be here a while, you guys. We'll see. Is I there? Think vetiver came out faster for us than it did. Yeah, that was a while. You know, I don't think there's any oil in this. Very possible. <laughs> I think that's yep. why it's not coming out. <laughs> that would make sense. So 
Well, let's, yeah, uh, that's a, a definite no. Let's, and it uh, doesn't chicken really that smell. <laughs> next to you. There should be some wonderful. Uh, the drawer next right to me, or the drawer? Right there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, looky! This is a wonderful to be in drawer. Order, so. Okay, let's see. Got the seeds. Which one was it again? Cedarwood. Yeah, Cedarwood Atlas. Cedarwood Atlas. Cedarwood Atlas. Okay. We're there's. Checking. Oh, wait! I got. I've got some. Yep, okay, this one has oils in it, so we're good. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. See, we didn't leave you hanging. No, you're just testing me, and now I know about the cool drawer. <laughs> okay. There we go. One, two, three, seven, eight. Oh, oh. I don't get to push the button, you guys. I'm so sad. Thank you, because you did really well. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Only because Jerry said I could. <laughs> okay, and now we're adding our vetiver. Oh, you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall asleep after this. Wait a minute. I wasn't sure what kind of face that was. Uh, it was a good face. It was the vetiver face. It was the, was it a bad face? <laughs> well, it just, it looked like you were in love, but at the same time. A little scared? A little bit. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. It's in there. We did it. Got a little on my finger, but it's okay. Okay, so now we're going to add it to our water. And this is going to be interesting, you guys. Let's see if I can do this part, if you I can nail do this. this. And you nail it. Ooh, oh, it's happening. It's happening. Shake that puppy. Oh, shake so that it's puppy. magical. Look at that. And you're going to give it a good shake and dance and sing a little bit with it. It's going in the outtakes. Because it's Friday. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I saw somebody put that. Okay, let's you see. You guys are so fun. <laughs> <laughs> smells delightful. Let's see. We're going to take that with us. And oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Yep, it's, it's a keeper, guys. Definitely make this. Spray it all over your pillows on your sweater. It's great. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Poor Katrina has to deal with me after this, too. She's going to smell so good and I'm going to want to go to sleep. It'll be great. It will be cozy. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Do we have any questions about this lovely spray? Do you have to shake it every time you use it? Uh, if you're using Everclear, you do not because that acts as an emulsifier and it actually helps to preserve the product as well. Um, if you're not using Everclear, then definitely, and we, you know, generally would recommend using it because it just makes for a sta more stable product for you guys. Um, let's see. Mmm, that smells good. I can smell it. I know, it, it yeah. smells really, really good. How oh. long would the spray last if you include the Everclear and keep it in a cool, dark storage space? Forever. No, I'm just kidding. It really, it really just depends. Um, I would just keep an eye on it and make sure that you don't have any issues with smell, but it, it'll last quite a while because of the Everclear. So that's exciting. Um, Jay says, I'm going to have to make an inhaler. I'm out of vodka. Jay, you got to put the vodka down. <laughs> no, I think it would be great in an inhaler too. It's really, really beautiful. So um, Cassie says, now go take a nap. Yes, please. Definitely. I'll be, I would be fine with that. What? I'm feeling very relaxed. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> we normally have yoga time on uh, Friday afternoons for 15 minutes. I think I might be having a nap. It'll be great. <laughs> Georgina is asking, are you supposed to allow the oils to rest in the Everclear for a certain amount of time before mixing? Um, no, not necessarily. I would just, we, we skipped the mixing phase, um, but I would just give it a good mix to make sure everything's really dispersed. Um, but really, even in this, you can see that everything is blending nicely. Let's see. Uh, Laura says, so how much does the vetiver come through the overall aroma? Hubby doesn't like vetiver, and I barely like its aroma. Um, it gives it a nice grounded smell, but I get mo mostly <laughs> the pedigree. The pedigree comes through really strong, um, and that's a really good oil to blend with if you don't love vetiver because uh, pedigree is quite fragrant, and it does help uh, blend and balance it a little bit more. So. What would you use instead of pedigree? Oh. Or not pedigree, sorry, instead of vetiver. Oh, that's a good question. So you could just um, 
omit the vetiver and not put vetiver in it. Um, or you could add in another wood oil, so like Buddha wood would be nice, or one of the other cedar woods if you have a preference there. So um, I would just switch it out with another base oil if you don't have vetiver or if you don't love it. Sandalwood would be great. I would love that. Might have to make that myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Do we have any other questions coming through? Uh, ABC123 Mom just asked, is the recipe on the website? It is. It is. So let me show you where to find it. So you'll just go to our website, go to About, and to the blog. And then doo -doo -doo, um, you'll just scroll down a little bit, and it's right here. And it comes with a really handy video. So if you don't want to read, um, you can just watch the video and that and, makes it a little easier. And it literally has hands in it. <laughs> and it literally My hands? did it. That's right. Oh. Handy video. <laughs> so funny story, we shot a video yesterday and Katrina came up and her finger looked bruised. I was like, how are we gonna shoot this video with her her our hand model Katrina <sighs> and her fingers are all bruised. She had worn a ring that like turned her oh, finger. Oh, really cheap ring. I just okay. had to wash my hands. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> the next video is going to look good. Have, <laughs> have you ever read anything about hand models? But I think that they, uh, what I've read is that they'll like lotion up and then put wear gloves all the time to keep their hands oh in pristine gosh. condition. Yeah, I've heard that too. Um, I'm not going to do that, Danny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally fine. August, you've got a nice like pair of mittens on to keep you nice and cozy. <laughs> well, and you guys don't. Don't know this about me, but I'm a nose model. Oh, oh that yeah. I can see yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. I have to, uh, I do the same thing with my nose. I cover it with a glove. Mm -hmm. Cassie says, oh, Danny, you too much. <laughs> <laughs> we think he's just enough. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, Heidi says, nude oils, could you do a spray of germ destroyer for pillows or is diffusing more effective? Kiddo is fighting a virus at the moment. So um, I like to use the pillow sprays for more calming products and then if you have something a little bit more serious going on like a bug, I would prefer to diffuse just because it's a little longer lasting. Um, but you could definitely make one with Germ Destroyer. You could use the same recipe and just use Germ Destroyer instead of the oils that are in the blend. So Heather, <clears throat> sorry, Heather on <laughs> Facebook asks, is there another alcohol we can use? We don't have Everclear in Canada. And Brita Check asks, is Pettigrain dog safe? So okay. Two questions. So, Heather, um, I would just suggest using the highest proof alcohol that you can find. So the higher the proof, the better, because it helps disperse the essential oils. Um, so whatever whatever you have there that is a really high proof would work. And then for the Pettigrain question about being dog safe, head on over to, let's, let me show you because we have a really handy download. I just have to remember where to find it. Okay, so head to planttherapy.com and go to our Learn tab and head on down to Downloads. It's coming, you guys, I promise. You can just also type in planttherapy.com forward slash downloads. It'll take you there as well. Yes, it will. Oh, man, somebody changed things up on me. It was at the bottom. Now I have to find it. Oh, no, actually, if you go all the way up to the top, there's a button you can push. There's a button, you guys. Yeah, they, it's, they've actually made it even better. Yeah. Wow. Oh, See, snap. I swear I was just on here last week. Okay, so we're going to educational content, I believe, I'm hoping. Yes, I was right. You are um, so good. <laughs> and then you'll head on over to Pup and Pony Safe Oils chart. Then we have this really handy download so that you know exactly what is safe to use around your puppies and your ponies. So Ooh. if you head here, you can see that Pettigreen is dog safe. So just make sure to follow our guidelines when you're using it around your furry friends. Um, but absolutely, it's one that is safe to use around your puppies. So. Yay! Yay! We have a question from Rita. Um, she's asking, can you recommend oils for sinus infection, congestion, and pressure, please? Oh my, that does not sound like fun. I'm sorry that you're dealing with that. Um, my little guy is actually dealing with some sinus stuff right now, and we've been using Sniffle Stopper quite a bit with him. Um, and I just make a salve or even do just a carrier oil blend and apply to the chest and under the nose. Um, just take care to avoid any eye areas areas but you could even put just a little bit on your cheeks to help uh, get rid of that you know sinus problem 
Um, and then Respirate is a great choice as well. So we have two really, really great blends for, for those kinds of issues. So. And also, Rita, I think we do have some blogs on sinus and pressure as well. So you could just head over to the blog and search for sinus, and you might be able to get some more blends there. We have a great blog, you guys. It's pretty awesome. I love it. <laughs> so Michelle's asking, can you use perfume alcohol rather than Ever Everclear? Um, I personally have not ever used perfume alcohol with with using essential oils, but as long as it's a high enough proof, and really perfume alcohol is made to help create your own perfume, so it should work, um, but I haven't had any personal experience with using it. So, um, Yeah, if Heidi found a stash of Everclear in our house, <laughs> she would not think I was making <laughs> DIYs with it. So I need some perfume alcohol. Instead. I need some perfume alcohol, yeah. So I had a meeting with Tyler Hagen one time, one of our certified aromatherapists. You'll see him on our SEOR page. Yay! And, yay! and um, we were video chatting, and behind him, he had like five bottles of Everclear. And I <laughs> said, Tyler, do you need to tell me something? Because that's a lot of Everclear you got going on there. He had a rosy complexion. <laughs> now we know, right? Now we know. <laughs> oh, goodness. All righty. Do we have any other questions that are coming through you guys will have to make this up and let me know how much you love it <laughs> let us know I guess so okay well we are going to do PT friends which I don't know right it's on that tree up there <gasps> the tree the magical tree okay let's see here oh this is so tough everybody on that tree will win eventually so do not eventually I know but they're all feel so guilty pretty. let's see okay okay we're doing this one Good choice. That's a good choice. Ooh, oh my, this is this is a good choice. There's goodies here, I think. Let's see. Oh, let's see. <laughs> she puts it back. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Uh, oh, look, you guys. It's so cool. Oh, oh. That's wonderful. This is so neat and so creative. I love that. I don't know where this is, but let's go. <laughs> yeah, right now. We can head out today. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> did it come right. with a... It did. It came with a note. A description. Oh, okay. yes. this is good. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this says, hello, Rita and everyone at Plant Therapy, extending my love for PT from my home in Southwest Virginia uh, with these three photos from our local 3,000 acre Hungry Mother State Park. Wow, so Whoa. we just need to go to Hungry Mother State Park. Hungry Mother? How did that name? <laughs> that is an interesting name. <laughs> Rosie, if you're watching, tell us. <laughs> That's uh, better than Gassy Mother State Park. <laughs> oh, Danny. Uh, the first pick is of Molly's Knob, which is the summit of the 1.6 mile difficult hiking trail that starts at the group lodge of the park. The trail is thick with rhododendron, catawaba, catawaba pink bloom, <laughs> and rhododendron uh, maximum white bloom, as well as many other varieties of shrubs and ferns. Oh, so beautiful. That is beautiful. The second picture is looking out over a portion of a 108-acre lake during a previous year's peak fall foliage. Fall is my most favorite season, especially living here in the mountains. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay. So beautiful. <laughs> and the third pat picture is of rhododendron catawaba. <laughs> <laughs> growing along the trail near the lake. I have not ever heard of that uh, specific variety, so just bear with me. Um, I think it would be hilarious if customers were just sending in fake words just, testing just to us. hear us try to say it. Catawba. I should share it with Katrina. She could probably say it better than me. Um, interesting fact, the leg legend of Hungry Mother State Park and where it got its name as well as the name of Molly's Knob Legend has it that when the Native Americans destroyed several settlements on the New River south of the park, Molly Marley and her small children were among the survivors taken to the raiders' base north of the peak. They eventually escaped, wandering through the wilderness, eating berries. My, Molly finally collapsed, and her child wandered down a creek until the child found help. The only words the child could utter were, Hungry Mother. The search party arrived at the foot of the mountain where Molly had collapsed to find the child's mother dead. Today, that mountain is Molly's Knob, and the stream is Hungry Mother Creek when the park was developed in 19... In the 1930s, the creek was dammed to form Hungry Mother Lake. Thanks for letting me share this with you guys. I love plant therapy. Warm regards, Rosie Burke. Well, thank Whoa. you, Rosie. I almost <laughs> cried. <laughs> uh, 
I always pick the sad ones. Uh, <laughs> but beautiful photos. Beautiful photos. So, uh, all righty, Rosie. We'll make sure that you email CS at CS at plantherapy.com and we will get you your fun giveaway sent to you. Um, um, Emily, there was a question kay. from somebody. They asked if you can win more than once on PT Friends. We are going to be changing up things again da -da -da. To, to maybe uh, make it so that you can enter in uh, something a little different. Ooh. Anyway, we're, gonna, we're talking about Fun. some of it. So please keep <laughs> sending your stuff to us. We love hearing about you. Yes. Yeah, yes. and we love hearing stories like that, even when they're sad, because we want to know about where, where you live and where you come from. So thank you, Rosie, for sending that in. And it looks like she is on. She says, thank you all so much. Thank you, Rosie. We love the pictures. They're beautiful. Uh, and if you want to send in your stuff, please send it to PT Friends, 510 Second Avenue South, Twin Falls, Idaho, 83301. It's like he said that before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like he says that three times a week. Do you want to show her what she wants? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> okay, Rosie, you won a lemongrass and some, I believe these are two mil bottles. They look like cute little two mil bottles. And our little furry pouch, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. And then one of our hats. So lots of fun this is one of my favorite giveaway packages that's, that's a good one that's a lot of fun so congratulations rosie i hope you love your little giveaway items so and we may have breathed in the bag for you <laughs> you're welcome. sending you a little i'm bit very of sorry about that rosie <laughs> that's <laughs> i had nothing to do with that <laughs> All righty. Okay. Well, I guess it's that time of our show where we talk about our question for the day. Uh, so today we're going to ask, could you use more help falling asleep or staying asleep? Or do you sleep just fine? And you have the chance to win the ingredients from our DIY. So the Pedigree, Bergamot, Cedarwood, Atlas, a Vetiver, and a pack of spray bottles. So make sure that you follow the link and answer this question and let us know. Do you fall asleep really easily or do you have a hard time falling asleep? I do not have a hard time falling asleep. I have a bit of a hard time staying asleep. And lately I have a hard time waking up in the morning. It's a struggle. The struggle is real. So, uh, And I know Katrina doesn't have any problems sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love sleeping. Danny, what about you? I sleep like a baby. Like a baby. <laughs> um, that means I wake up four or five times a night. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> I, I actually sleep oh. pretty good um, during the work week because mm -hmm. Heidi gets up with the babies. Oh. And they're not really babies anymore. They're three. That wife of yours, she is a rock star. She is. <laughs> uh, and then on the weekends, I... I'm the one that gets up. Aww. And I usually ignore them. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> They're fine. So I sleep They're great. three now. They're adults. <laughs> yeah, if they need something, get up and get it. <laughs> I always get up with my baby, um, especially first thing in the morning. He loves mommy in the morning and does not want anything to do with daddy. But as soon as he's awake awake, he's like his dad's shadow. So that's <laughs> our little time together and I enjoy it. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, we're so happy to have you. Um, I hope you enjoyed our show today. And don't forget that all of our body creams are 25% off. So exciting. Make sure to go get those um, as soon as you can. We also have 15% off Pedigree. And don't forget about our awesome new Crystal Car Fresh Diffuser. Um, and guess what? I'll be back on Monday. And mm -hmm. Katrina and I are going to talk about plants, I think. And I'm really excited because she needs to teach me all the things. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be back for Natural Monday. And we really look forward to seeing you. Have a great, happy Friday and the best weekend ever. And we'll see you Monday. Bye, guys.